Hi, this is Kara from The Shabby Attic, and we're here in Wilmington, Delaware with Kelly and Mason, and this is Fix My Furniture. Yes, that's right. We are now up to episode number two. And what we'll be doing today is we're going to be overhauling this beautiful 19... No, it's not beautiful. <laughs> it's nice, but we're going to make it just a little more beautiful. Um, this piece of furniture we're going to be overhauling today. Kelly had emailed me in response to our, our post about requesting people to nominate themselves for our show. And uh, Kelly, you want to tell me what, what is it that you um, requested from us? I just requested that you update this dresser that was mine when I was a baby and to have it just fit in a little better with the overall baseball theme of my three-year-old bedroom. Okay, and your space, uh, your, I'm sorry, your baseball. Your, son, your son's name is? Is Nolan Michael, for okay. Nolan Ryan and Mike Schmidt. So. Right. so this is a big time baseball family. So they love the Phillies, they're big Phillies fans. So what we're gonna be doing today is, I don't know if you can see some of the decor there, it's um, all baseball theme in here. We're going to be turning this into a baseball themed dresser and we'll be taking you step by step through it how we do it um it's we're going to have some little fun little uh, accents on this that i think it's going to make it really special and kind of a one-of-a-kind piece and it's great to be able to recycle a piece that belonged to you that way it stays in the family it probably had some nice memories for you and now it's going to have some nice memories for her son so we're really excited so just um just stay tuned just uh you know, we're, we're going to walk you through it Fans. This is what the game plan is for this dresser right here. What we're going to do is we're going to sand this baby down. We're going to take all the hardware off and replace it. Uh, we're going to fill in some of these holes because we're going to actually use wood knobs to make uh, little knobs that look like baseballs. Um, the whole bottom of this piece is coming off way down here and we're going to replace it with baseballs for feet and uh, we're going to put a big Phillies logo on the front of this. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And here we have already stripped the um, hardware off of this piece and we're going to realign these holes um, because this is, piece is going to be for a little boy. Um, we want to maybe just use the holes that, reuse the holes that are closer together. It'll make it easier for him to open and close. And we're going to have words here and here. You'll see what they are later. Um, so we're going to fill these holes in and re-drill to align with these holes. Everything will be in one nice little line for all the knobs. Didn't your mother ever tell you that a sawzall is a girl's best friend? She didn't? Yeah, mine didn't either. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to use a sawzall to cut the base of this piece off. We need to actually make the bottom of this dresser flat in order for the baseballs to be able to screw into the bottom, to use those as the new feet. So that's what we're going to do. furniture the screws are really 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 tight and so you have to do this by hand so that's what I'm doing I'm actually on my hands and knees and I'm, <laughs> I'm unscrewing this by hand because the screws are so tight into the piece power tools charge because they were fully charged <laughs> and in the meantime we're gonna start sanding this piece so here we go to fill in the holes is now dry. So we're gonna go ahead and hit with the sander. Okay, so here we have a couple of rolling balls. We've got, a, we've got four of these. We're gonna be our new feet for this piece. So, and I have these long screws here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a little bit of a hole in the bottom. We're gonna countersink it. And we're going to put the screws up through. So we've got about this much going into the wood of the piece for, for strength and support. And then inside the ball, it'll be about that deep. And that's what we're going to do that. So I'm going to 
going to go in a little bit. This is made of cork, so cork's going to come flying out. All right. Okay, so we pre-drilled our hole, and now we're going to screw the base balls right into the base of the piece. And there we go. Um, you just want to make sure you have clearance so that when you're open and close the drawer for any kind of movement that the screw that when you sink it doesn't interfere with any movement. So here we've just gone actually right into this edge piece of wood. Hey, so now we are at the point where we have uh, the balls are on, the baseballs are on our piece, and the lovely, what's your name? Audrey <laughs> is actually um, beginning to chalk paint our piece. It goes on like a dream. Dream weaver. And I wanted to talk a minute about Formica. That's the plasticky sheet on top of your dresser or your um, nightstand that is kind of plasticky and real shiny. You can actually paint over that, but what it is, is it was meant to make the piece indestructible on the top. But uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually sand it just the way you would normally sand a piece of furniture, but you're gonna use Kills Primer. That's uh, something that I swear by. Kills is great. You can get it in brush form or even in spray form. I really like the spray form because it kind of gives a nice even coat. Um, so what you're gonna do is, again, sand the top, score it, and then use primer and when that dries usually with kills spray it takes about 30 minutes to dry um, you're going to put your first coat on top of that and it should really bond very well and it makes it very durable over time so that really works this piece there's nothing worse when you have a kid that has toys or Legos and they go down the back of the dresser. So this one little strip of wood will save a lot of time and aggravation. And what we've done is we pre-drilled our holes and we screwed it to the top and now we're going to paint it just to blend it in. <laughs> okay, so our piece is painted and we are um, starting with some of the stenciling here. I've got, a little, I've got Take Me Out to the Ball Game on the front and we're going to clean up a little bit. And I, it was a little bit of overspray when we did our stencil. Um, and also I'm going to be doing a Phillies logo down here. So what I've done is print one out on the computer. Um, I blew it up within a program. And so when it printed out, it printed out large. And we're cutting it out. And we're going to stick it to the front here and spray it. So um, if you don't have to buy an expensive stencil, you could just download any image you want, really. And then just blow it up, print it out, cut it with either scissors or an X-Acto blade and then there you've got your stencil and you probably get one or two uses out of it and then you get to chuck it. So we're gonna spray next. Well, we put our stencil on the piece, we sprayed in bright red and now we have our logo on there. We're gonna go back in and we're gonna clean it up a little bit, clean the lines because it's a little tricky to get um, clean lines in between some of these um, some of these recessed areas. So we'll go back in with a brush and clean it up. And then we're going to actually put an outline of white around it to really make it pop and stand out for this piece. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> okay, we are in the seventh inning stretch now. <gasps> And we're winding down. What I'm doing now is I'm sealing in our piece, and this is one of my favorite products. This is Rust-Oleum, the ultimate, the ultimate polyurethane, and this is a matte finish. It's one of our favorite finishes because it still has the slightest amount of sheen, but it gives ultra protection. Um, but it almost mimics the feel of when you seal in a piece with wax. It has a really nice touch to it, a velvety touch when it's done but you can wipe it down, you can scrub it, it's great. So we've actually glazed over our chalk paint here with an antiquing glaze. It's an antiquing wax based glaze. Uh, and if you wanna know how we went about glazing, you can actually go back to episode one uh, where we did a sideboard and we did an extensive how-to on how to glaze. So refer back to that. But now what I'm doing is I'm putting on our coat of clear coat of poly and it goes on white but it'll actually dry clear and again it just has a really nice touch to it and there we go
go. So we're going to do the whole piece over with that, and that'll give us the durability that we need because this is going to be a child's piece. Okay, so we are finally completed our wonderful Phillies baseball theme dresser. Uh, what do you think, Kelly? It's amazing. <laughs> it is beyond anything I expected. I can't even believe it's the same piece for us. Oh, yeah. It's amazing how paint and hardware and things like that will transform a piece. And I gotta say, this is a heavy piece of furniture. This is really constructed well, and we really worked hard on this piece. Um, but this is gonna really, I think your son's gonna get a kick out of this. I think it'll be um, give you guys pleasure from for years to come. I mean, this is really made well, so. And this was about 40 years old, maybe 30, 40 years old. I think yeah. you're gonna get another 30, 40 years out of it. And like you said um, to me earlier, that once your son is done using this, you're getting this. Oh, you're right. stealing this, it's going in the living room. <laughs> That's yep. great. We're, I'm so happy that you really like it. And I think it's, come on, I think it's a home run. It's a home run. It's a home run. So um, I will see you guys for the, at the next episode. We are doing another makeover next week. I believe we are heading out to work over an armoire that has been sitting in somebody's basement for about 15 years. So I will see you at the next episode. And if you want to follow any of our tutorials, just subscribe to us on YouTube. We are the Shabby Attic of Lansdale, Pennsylvania. And I am Karen Wolfley. And I will see you next time.